What's going on guys and welcome back to Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, so you can hear rain in the background, it's absolutely pelting it down. Um, I don't know how I managed to make it home safely, I'll be honest. There's that much standing water on the road, it's ridiculous. But we did, we're here. So what's going on? Um, there's a 2x chances for voids and I have purchased a couple. Um, and that is what we're doing today. But I do want to first show you something I'm very happy with. If I come down here to my spider. Stage 20, 13 seconds. Before that, you know, a minute. A minute, a minute, blah, 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 blah. And I'd like to just show off my spider team, which is this. So, I've been kind of playing about with certain characters. And I'm really happy with this. And I'm really happy with these guys. Uh, it's not on auto for some reason. I'll put it on auto. They better do it how they've been told to do it. And it's wrong. So, he'll lead off with the poisons. Yeah, see, they're doing it wrong again. Alright, I don't know why... Okay. It just changed the teams. I know he's going to hit me. It does not. Why is it doing I've literally just changed. Now cold heart. I don't know why you're going first, but you go first. Eat meal. Not a problem. Not finish the job. Oh, 1.4 mil. Yeah. So, that is it. Oh, I am not a happy bunny. Why do you keep changing? That team. Right. Now do it. I don't know why it keeps coming off this. Now it should do it properly. Lead into the poisons. Which will lead into nuts. There. Bang, bang, bang. Now Coldheart finishes the job. Yep. Okay. Oh, just 2.1 mil. Not a problem. <laughs> no, he's ridiculous. I love him so much. Royal Guard's normally out, and the attack aura for Coldheart. Uh, and I love Royal Guard. I just want to show that off. I am very happy with that team. Um, yeah, as you can see, I bought one. Uh, I probably could change out bad already for anybody. I did use a Seeker for a bit. Um, I don't know, but I don't think it matters. Right. The Voids. What are we after? We are after uh, Baron. Baron would be great. Baron hits very hard. Bellinor. I would absolutely love a Bellinor. He would go so well with uh, my Xavier. That would be amazing. Um, two on a rock. I know she's really good. I'm trying to think. Venus. Very much so. Venus or Cardi Cardiel. Would be great. Or. Um, what faction is this? Shadowkin? Looking for. Yumiko. That's who I'm after. That would be massive. So, any of them really. But anyone we don't have is a 10x for Siffy as well. So, maybe another Siffy. I wouldn't complain at another Siffy. Siffy is fantastic. So, we're going to do. We've got the space. We've got 59. That's really annoying, isn't it? Um, let's just do the tens. Let's get the tens out of the way. We'll see what we can get. If I can get a tree shield knot, that would be pretty cool. I know he's all right. We get a cold heart. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Warcaster, not the best. Relic we tender, really cool. Paragon cheesy as shit. Sight. Are you the speed one? Yeah, decreased speed and decreased terminator. I actually needed her back for something. I can't remember what it was. But she's great. Uh, Renegade, I've currently built, but I have not used for this. Decrease the cooldown. So if I get a Yumiko, she'll put everyone else's abilities on cooldown. And then my Renegade can reduce all of my cooldowns. And she's HP based, so I should be able to make her pretty tanky. But I'll get back to you on that. Cold Heart, I mean, you've just seen Cold Heart. We all know what she does. She's fantastic. Uh, I do have two maxed out ones. And I have like four sitting in the vault, so I don't need any more. Uh, so I probably aren't going to keep her. I know a lot of people like Warcaster for this ability, but one turn block damage doesn't do it for me. Reliquary Tender revives an ally on a five turn. Not the best, uh, but removes all debuffs and continuous heals for two turns. And a decreased attack on the uh, basic. Really cool champion. On any of my other accounts, I would love that. But on this one, uh, I do have her maxed, but unfortunately not really going to use her. That was a fair amount of points. That could be a good sign. Painkeeper's amazing. 
Or more got buffed, I think. I want the Paragon cheese, oh, so that's why we got a lot of points. Skrink. Why do I recognize that name? Attacks one will be two times. Heals this champion. Places increased attacks on the HP burn. Meh. Attacks all enemies. Places HP burn. On a three turn. Meh. Okay. Increases every attack crit damage every time a HP burn debuff triggers. Yeah, there might be something cheesy you can do with him. Attacks one enemy. Decrease defense. Attacks four times at random. First, it has a 100% chance of placing provoke. Increase defense on all allies, place a shield on this champion, as well as a shield. Why couldn't that be on everybody? And then it'd be really cool. Transfer 50% damage inflicted to Cage Breaker. Oh, okay, the link. I like teammates. Alright. So why? I'm pretty sure she hits really hard. But, uh, not really much I can say about that. Painkeeper. Painkeeper does not get talked about enough. Painkeeper is absolutely fantastic. I got her on one of my mini accounts. And she is ridiculous. This heal can be f crazy if you uh, if you book her out properly. Not book her out, sorry. If you build her properly. So it is a four turn cooldown. But that can be reduced by this ability, which is also on a four turn cooldown. Um, I don't know if that works on herself, actually. Now I've said that. Maybe not. But she's got a, f a turn meter feel. If you build her really quick and really, really tanky. She can be ridiculous. I'm going to break the mold here because I would like to show you mine. Because I want to show you how I've got mine built. Stop offering me these. I think she might be here. Or she might be in my vault. I can't remember. No, she's there. So I've just ascended her. So as you can see, completely maxed. I don't have max masteries on her yet. But the build in a shield set. So she has 70k HP, nearly 2k defense, 200 speed. Uh, she could be put with a bit more resistance, but for what I use her for, she's perfect. Uh, but that HP set on the HP set on the shield, sorry. So everything is HP. HP percent, HP percent. Pretty sure these are speed. Yeah, speed, HP rolls and some speed for more speed. I'm, I'm pretty sure these have speed and HP. Oh no, speed again. So she's by no means maxed out perfectly, but that. Is a fantastic build for progression and healing and support. Um, that 30% H, I mean, what's 30% of 70? I don't know if that's a lot or not. Could be. Right, I don't know where I'm at with my mercy. Hopefully, I get something for this. I don't want to do one video and not get anything. Oh, that's not good. Although, we could get one here. All right. We got a silo already, we don't need another one. Battle save, battle save. Oh, legendary! Who's it gonna be? Ooh! Okay. What's the video about? Exactly. So, let's, uh. Alrighty. She is crazy for fire now. She looks awesome as well. Look at that. 50% defense. Has one, uh, attacks one enemy, has 75% chance of placing weaken. Has a 75% chance of two random buffs, grants an extra turn. So she's going to attack, take some buffs away, place a weaken, come in again, and attack four times. Hmm, okay. Places a revive on death buff on this champion for two turns. Place a revive on death on this for one turn when this champion kills an enemy with a crit. Attacking all battles by 24%. She wasn't on the list. She's really cool, though. She is really cool. Um... What was I going to talk about? Battle Sage. Battle Sage is... She's meh. Attacks all enemies. You could put her in a stun set. She's alright. Increased attack on all allies and removes all debuffs. That's a pretty cool ability. Uh, three turn cooldown. And revive on death on a target ally. Um, that does not need to be a four turn cooldown. That's ridiculous. It's not that good. And speed and all battles. She's pretty cool. Crew tracks. Okay. And do me one more and give me a Warlord. 500, that's not good. Is that, all is that all greens? Is that all blues? That's... This is... Yep, cool. Kozard's pretty good. I need to build him. Doom Screech is really good. So Kozard is the increase and accuracy guy. Yep. Uh, increase accuracy, then attacks, and places small decrease defense. It's pretty... I do need to build him. He's really... Uh, that one's not the best. Doom Screech is really good. 
I'm telling Caitlin about this. Caitlin's got an into raid, and she keeps selling all of the really good void blues. She's a tit. Attacks one enemy two times, has a 20, 30, 40% chance of placing 50% decreased accuracy. Meh. Builds a turn meter of all allies by 30%, places a 60% increased defense on all allies for two turns on a three turn cooldown. One of the, I think there's a couple of void rares that, or just rares in general, that do the 60% increased defense. On a very rare, that's ridiculous. Um, and then attacks when he places a shield buff equal to 30% max HP on this champion. Guess what? He's based on HP. He's based on HP. HP and attack. He has a HP aura. I'm pretty sure he's got decent ish. Um, decent ish HP. Mine's in my vault, I think. I would like to show you. If you go back and watch some of my super old raids, you will see. I did use him. There he is. It's not going to. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I can't actually see what he had. But you see, he had like 50k HP. Does the job. It's not bad. Right, last temple. What are we going to get? Come on, Yumiko. Oh. No, that's that's not. No. No. It's not it, Chief. It's not it, Chief. Zor sucks. Bash is really good. I'll take that. And a tree shield. Alright, nice. I'll take that too. Uh, Azor is Garbo. Ally protect on all allies. Place a shield on this champion. Okay. Attacks one enemy. Oh, brilliant. Attacks one enemy two times. Places a stun. Yep. Really good. Really good. Crazy. Basher though. Basher is really good. So he attacks all enemies. Decreases the cooldown of all the target skills by two turns on a three turn cooldown. I need to build him out for that ability. Attacks four times at random, places block buffs. That one's all right. He's uh, he's attack based, so you could make him smack or not. I need to build him. I need to build him. And tree shield not. I'm quite happy I got him actually. So we've got a three hit on this basic. Pretty good. Decrease attack. Uh, it is only a 35% chance, but he's hitting three times, so pretty good. He was all allies by 50% of their max HP. Also places increased defense. It is only the small one, but it's on a three-turn cooldown. That's a pretty nice 25% total on the eyes equal to 20%. So yeah, he's not crazy, but for a void, uh, uh, for a void, yeah, for a rare, pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, and there's nobody else there worth talking about. Steadfast Marshal, why have I? Increased defense on this champion grants an extra turn. Places a bell because of Veil. Yeah, never mind. He's not that impressive. Okay. Nine singles, here we go. Do them all single if I wanted to. Rage monger, no. Not even worth talking about. Dagger, I've just built Dagger on a mini account for a decreased defense. She's, uh. I think there's a few rares that do 60% decreased defense. Her and War Maiden, obviously, War Maiden's a bit easier to get, but I think she looks cooler. I have just built her, but she's really, really, really squishy. I don't know if Void Reds are squishy, aren't they? But she's really squishy. Centurion, one of the, like Spider Man. One of the cooler looking champions in the game, but he sucks. Changes remaining HP levels with a target enemy, then equals. That sounds really cool, but it's not that good. It was this champion with 30% of their max HP in place and 30% increased defense on this champion. Why couldn't that be all allies? That would make him a lot better. Attacks one enemy, heals this champion with 50% of damage inflicted. So he's got like mini lifesteal, but he still sucks. Next. Come on, game. One more, one more yellow. Please. Seize nuts. Oh, never mind. It's. Scrank. Never mind. I thought that was going to be a pretty cool joke. Oh, a faceless. I'll take that, actually. He hits ridiculously hard. Place an increased crit rate on this champion. Tax 1 will ignore shield block damage buffs as well as defense. That is a cool pull. I'll take that. You know why I'll take that? Please tell me it's on this account. Oh. That's awkward. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I had a I thought I had a, a thing for him. Okay, well I'll take that because I have no choice now, game. Thanks. I thought I thought I had a, a big blessing for him. I do not. Next. Another tree shield. 
That running animation is crazy. And my graphics are turned down to low because my PC is a bit... It's like an old cat. Just gets by. Doesn't really bother with anybody else. Deal go. No thanks. If there's anything worth talking about there. Oh, that's not good. Bloat rave. Yeah, great. All right, last one. Come on. Do me. Do me good. Caitlyn can get warlords. Oh. Stitch beast. Kiss my ass. All right. Is it like a summoning event or something going on here? Dungeon divers. Oh, yeah, shit. I forgot about this. Did I manage to get the last two? No. Of course I didn't. Okay. Halloween type event. You can't earn more masquerade coins. Oh, this is over now, isn't it? Uh, we'll take we'll take the energy. I like those events. Those events are really cool. Maybe it's tournaments. Champion chase. There you go. Window you know books, a chicken, and some coins. And we're top. We won't be top for long. No way. That's pretty cool. I'll take. Thank you very much. And I can come back down to the events and see what I get. Have I, have I unlocked the other Wukong song yet? No, not even close. Jesus. I need to build Wukong. Alright, well, I mean, I'm not unhappy with that. Could have been better, obviously, but 50 shards wasn't much, was it, to be honest. And we did get Kuchaxa, so I did. I can't remember what the video was about. It was for something. I think she's good for Fire Knight Hard. But I can't remember. I couldn't tell you. But I'm definitely going to max her out. Is she. How much is that? Four? Is that eight books or is that. Two, three, four. That's eight books. Eh, it's not too bad. Ooh, and there's a load of lore. Jesus. I'm not reading that now. And the other one that's getting built is Basha. I, I had a Basha before and Faces. I don't know what I've done with him. Unless he's in here and I'm blind. Which is possible. Oh, he's there. Ah, okay. Never mind. We're not going to build this bash. We might use him as a book instead. Is there any reason to have two bashes? Maybe for tag team. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. There you guys go. That is that. I'm... Relatively happy with that. That is what it is. People are getting... People are getting... Uh, Carl the Scourge. Shuzen. Oh, that's me. Alright. Kira the Watcher. Oh, that's Ascendant. No one gives a shit about Ascendant. Bilbo got a Warlord. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. Rub that one in, game. Um... Is there anything interesting else? Why is going on? Oh, a split soul for Tayrell. That's pretty cool. I don't have enough then. I don't know. But I am going to end that one there. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, let me know down below if you made any pulls and if you've got anything interesting. Um, let me know. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to see, let me know down below. I, um, I plan on doing some things... In an upcoming video um, and I also want to start doing champion guides but I don't want to do end game super ridiculous builds um, I would like to show I don't know what I'm gonna call it I wanted to call the series something along the lines of painfully average but you know I am aware that some people don't have all these things and I also can't uh, just focus on raid because I play other games but that's something to do in the future. If you guys have enjoyed, like I said, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Links to all of my social medias are in the description box down below. It has been your boy. I hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one.